Hey songwriters, today we're gonna look at how to use third-party mixing plugins within GarageBand. So maybe you have that favorite mixing plugin and you're wondering if you can use it in GarageBand. Well, the answer is yes. It's not that hard to accomplish and it can be a powerful way to enhance your mixes. And we're gonna dive in and show you how to do it. All right, so I'm inside a project for a client that I'm working on, I'll hit play. I rise in this and let's say now I'm mixing this lead vocal and I wanna bring in some third-party mixing plugins. Well, how do I do that here within GarageBand? It's pretty simple. You just go up to the Smart Controls window and bring that up. You can also use B on your typing keyboard as a shortcut. And then you're gonna to need to go down here to Plugins, this drop-down menu, click on that, and you'll see the plugins that I'm already using. And so if you wanna add a third-party plugin, what you'll need to do is find an empty slot down at the bottom or wherever you want it in your signal chain. I'm gonna click that and I'll scroll all the way down to Audio Units. And then here within Audio Units, you'll see all of your third-party plugins. So I have two, I have Melodyne and I have a Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack. So let's say I wanna do Melodyne for some pitch correction. I would add that in, I can transfer it over, start doing that all within here. Or let's say I wanted to bring in Slate Digital, then I could pull it up there, I could start dragging and dropping my plugins and doing whatever I want to with that lead vocal here, as opposed to here within GarageBand. So there you have it guys, and really it's that simple. It's not difficult to accomplish. But again here, I wanna encourage you with the fact that GarageBand comes with lots of really great mixing plugins. So please don't go out and spend tons of money because you think you need some mixing plugins. If you don't know how to use the plugins already within GarageBand and use them really well, then you have absolutely no reason to go out and buy more plugins. So this is Dean from the Songwriting Studio signing out. I'll see you in the next video.